Actually, I was uh, voice acting before I even knew what voice acting was, that it actually was a career. When I was in fourth grade, my best friend lived two houses down from me, and our favorite pastime was actually to break out his Betamax, throw in a movie we hadn't seen before, and then we got one of those little tape recorders, and we would watch the entire movie, well, at least 45 minutes of it until the tape would run out, and, uh, and we would dub it, and we would just have the volume down, and like, okay, you're the first person, I'm the next character. Once you have a character, you stay that character through the whole thing, and half the fun, we thought, was not knowing what was gonna happen. So you'd set up this whole scene, we're like, well, fine, I'm leaving, but first I'm gonna get a coat, you know what I mean? And so that was like half of the fun of doing it, and then we, of course, we would rewind it both and, and sit and watch it, and it was hours of enjoyment. It's interesting to see which things kind of come around. I never thought I would work on Sailor Moon because it's done, but they decided to do a redub and, you know, an uncut redub, and I got cast. So I play one of the villains in it, Professor Tomoe, and I play Sailor Moon's, Sailor Moon's dad. One of the animes I really, really loved was <laughs> Multiple actors have played Lupin, and they've all done a great job, and recently, in the most recent movie, Jigen's Gravestone, I got cast, I never thought I would play Lupin the Third, and I got cast to play him. So I mean, that was, again, like a little like, pinch myself, yes! I think I have the most fun when I'm with a group of actors that I've worked with before, and you're just on point. Like when you get to the point, like if you're working on a series and you know your characters, and they just bounce off each other exactly right. You know, and you hear that line, you're like, yeah, you can hear it before it's coming, because you know it's gonna come like, yes, and you hit your mark, and uh, see, that I like the best. I mean, there's nothing more fun than that, I think. If you're really lucky, you get an image of the character, and that can be extremely helpful. The image can tell you how real the character is, and when I say real, I mean versus like cartoony, because you when you're doing video games or animation, uh, there are characters, yeah, you can have like a tough guy like this, but he's kind of goofy, because it's more like a yeah, cartoon. You know, but if you, you know, need to play tough and you need to be like, you know, more, a little more real with it, you can tell by the, the image of the character. And, and for some of the characters, you can just see the way they're drawn, you know, if, they're, you know, if their jaw juts out like this or, or they look, you know, kind of snooty or what have you, or just the way they're standing or holding themselves, that can make a huge difference on the voice that you want to go with for this character. I've loved video games forever. I like the old school stuff. I still, I like the new stuff because the new stuff has talking in it and that helps me make money, so that's good. Um, but no, I'm, uh, you'd be surprised how big I am in the old. In fact, I probably, what it was, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, what is, look at this, it fell in my pocket. Donkey Kong cartridge for the 2600. That's so funny how that just ended up there. That's weird, but yeah, it's like, I mean, pretty much uh, video games, I live and breathe them. So it's like that. I just say thank you for posting all that fun stuff where you kill Nazim over and over on YouTube because I enjoy that. Oh,